How's it going? It's William from Rocket Zero, and welcome to another Pixel Art tutorial. Now, not too long ago, we built a little mini tracer, so I'm going to try to build as many of these guys as I can. So we're going to continue with, hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, Seniata. And we're going to be using some black wool, light gray wool, yellow, red, and then some light blue wool. But if I am saying his name wrong, please let me know down below. I don't want to sound like an idiot for the rest of my life saying his name wrong. But whatever, we're going to begin with just one little block of black wool. So we're going to begin with that little block. And actually, we can get a little bit closer. There we go. So after you do that one block of black wool, you're going to place two red wools going up. And then three red wools across the top. So basically like a big letter T. Then we're going to grab our black and we're going to add two black wools on each side on the on the bottom of the T. And then we're going to grab our yellow and we're going to place two yellow wools and another two yellow wools. Now every so often after we build something, I'm going to be taking a step back, allowing you guys to have an opportunity to hit pause just in case you need a little bit of extra building time. Feel free to stop the video whenever you need to. But now let's continue by placing one, two, three, four blocks of black wool just like that and we're gonna do the same thing over here so one two three and four then we can go ahead and grab our light gray wool because we're gonna place a light gray wool here in between and on the left again then we're gonna have to grab our two black wools again we're gonna place one here and here so two diagonal black wools and two diagonal black wools on the left as well and then for this row right here, we're going to add two light gray wools, a yellow, and another two light gray wools. Then we're going to place a black wool, three light gray wools, and another black wool. So hopefully I'm not going too fast for you guys. If I am, just let me know down in the comments and I'll slow down for my next video. Then we're going to do a row of seven. So we're just going to do a row right here and then one on the right and one on the left. But if you want to count them, like I said before, it's going to be seven blocks. Now for his head, and we'll do the little like flying orbs later in the video, but for now we're going to worry about his head. So for his head, we are going to place two light gray wools, three yellow wools and two more light gray wools. I'm really wanting to play some Overwatch right now after building this guy. I mainly play as Bastion. That's my main character. So we're going to place a black wool here and then a black wool on the right as well. So yeah, I mainly play as Bastion and sometimes Mei and Hanzo. They're pretty much everyone uses them too, but I like Bastion. He's cool. All right, so then we're going to add two black wools above this gray and two black wools above that gray. Now here comes, I wouldn't say the tricky part, but just the part that we're going to have to pay attention to. We're going to grab our light gray wool. We're going to place one light gray wool, then a light blue, a light gray wool, light blue, light gray wool, light blue, and a light gray wool again. So make sure you guys have this row. Remember, it's going to be gray, blue, gray, blue, gray, blue, gray, but all of those colors are going to be of the light side. So once again, just want to make sure everybody has it. We're going to place a light gray, a light blue, light gray, light blue, light gray, light blue. So as long as you have three light blues with grays in between, you did it right. And now we're going to add a gray to the left of each of those light blues. And then we're going to add a light blue, light blue, light blue. And then the same thing again, we're going to add a light gray, light gray, light gray, and then light blue, light blue, light blue. So now let's finish the exterior outline of his forehead, or just his head in general. So we're going to place a light gray wool here, and we're going to grab our black wool, and we're going to go up by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So now let's do it on the left side as well. Remember, we're going to add a light gray wool and we're going to go up by seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven.
Then we're gonna place a diagonal light gray wool. Not a diagonal light gray wool, but we're gonna place a diagonal black wool with a light gray wool on the bottom. So light gray wool, black wool on the top. And then finally, we're just gonna add a light gray wool and then seven blocks of our black wool across, just like so. And that's how you make the outline. You guys are gonna have to fill that in later with some light gray wool. But for now, we are going to worry about making those little flying orbs that he spins around. It's pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna be using our yellow and red, and then we're gonna delete all of the red blocks afterwards. So here we go. We're gonna place a red, a yellow. Then on top of this yellow, we're gonna place two reds and a yellow. So make sure you guys have this. Remember at the end, we're gonna delete those red blocks. We're just using them to build something from them. And then here we go. We're gonna place a red, a yellow, and then one, two with a yellow on the top. So make sure you guys have this. And then we're gonna go, the. Uh, I can't talk. Then we're gonna go ahead and delete the red blocks. So let's do that right now, but hopefully, remember, if you guys need to pause, feel free to stop the video. Alright, so now let's just delete those blocks, and that's what we're left with. Looks pretty cool, looks like they're actually floating. And now we're going to do the same thing on this side, but just slightly different. It's different because it's on this side, but whatever. We're going to place a red with a yellow, then two reds and a yellow. And then we're going to place a red with a yellow on the top. And then two reds going up with a yellow on the top of that. So this would be a pretty good stopping point. So you guys can pause it and just build it from what you see. And in just a couple seconds, we're going to go ahead and delete those red blocks. So let's do that right now. Oh, can't get to it. There we go. And the final step is just going to be to fill in his forehead with light gray wool. And that's how you build a little, tiny, mini Siniata. And hopefully I'm saying his name right, from Overwatch. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't so you can stay up to date with all our newest videos. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Tell your friends about us and we'll see you next time.